Boom, guys. So today's episode, we're going to get into the needy greedy about something very basic that most people don't seem to understand. And how did I get inspired to make this video? Is by last week having a bunch of newbies reach out to me and go, hey, I literally made this post today on my Facebook, right? They reach out and they say, hey, I've paid for X mentorship. Doesn't matter what they paid, 5,000, 8,000, 10,000, really doesn't matter. Then when I joined the mentorship, I, you know, I'm in every Zoom and I've bought every mini course you can think of. And up to today, I still haven't done a deal. It's been two months, it's been three months, it's been 12 months, it's been two years, doesn't matter. I haven't done a deal. Number one, I regret quitting my 95. Some of them was earning good money, right? The other ones is like, hey, I'm completely lost. I don't know what to do, even though I don't want to go back to my 95, but this is not working out. Now, my first question to them is, what are those practical steps you've been doing action-wise that are money-making activities, right? Beside going on the Zooms, beside joining the mentorship, like what was the purpose of joining that mentorship? So I'm going to break down something really basic for you. If you're trying to get into real estate wholesaling or you're already into it, but you've never done a deal, or maybe you just wanted to build a portfolio, you decided to buy a mentorship and you still haven't done a deal. It's been whatever amount of time and you're frustrated. There is a very basic thing that most people don't understand. And that's the reason why they still haven't had their first rental first closing, or maybe they close one deal and completely went out of business, okay? They're no longer doing deals. Why? Because they're not taking the steps. They're just too busy going on Zooms, watching YouTube videos, jumping from Zooms to Zoom, buying every mini course, they get pitched on these Zooms, and they're not doing anything, anything other than that, okay? So what is this basic uh, step? So there, there, is, there is two fundamental golden rules in real estate. There's actually a bunch of them. But the first and the second fundamental rules, right? Today, we're not going to talk about the first. I'm going to make a whole other video for the first. But based on the context that I just gave you, I think the second, number two, is the one that applied the most. So I'm going to talk about number two on this episode. What is the number two golden rule in business? Any business you're trying to get into, right? Whether it be real estate wholesaling, whether it be, um, you know, opening up, a store to sell candy, it doesn't matter. Will they be opening up a drop shipping business, online website selling? It really doesn't matter. You want to sell coffee, right? Let me have a sip of coffee. Or you want to have, you know, uh, an online store that sell pens. It really doesn't matter, right? The second rule is this, guys. Business. You need to understand what is a business. So we're going to have, I hope you guys can read this, right? Today, I literally have a whiteboard for you guys. We're going to draw here a line, and I'm, I'm hoping anything I'm going to write on here, I'm going to write something here or something here that you guys can read it, okay? So, boom. So, in what is a business? Let's, let's define what a business is. What is a business? Because most people don't even know. Where's my word? This is raw, uncut, okay? This is not for entertainment. This is for education. So, I want you to focus. I want you to have a notebook. I want you to take notes or take notes on your phone, but I want you to focus. Shut down every other, whatever window you're scrolling on right now or TikTok, shut it down. Pay attention to this, okay? If this is relevant to you, pay close attention and take notes. Because if you understand this very basic fundamental rule about business, which is the number two golden rule of business, right? I promise you, you will see the mistake you've made and maybe you'll be able to solve it. Business, man, what is a business? Right. If you're trying to get into real estate wholesaling, which specifically this is the crowd that I'm going to address, but it, it applies for any business. If you're trying to get into real estate or wholesaling, I am going to assume your idea is either one, you don't have funds and you're trying to get through real estate, start by wholesaling, build up your capital, then start buying businesses or buying uh, real estate and build a portfolio. It really doesn't matter. Are you basically trying to turn it into a business where you build up a lot of capital? Correct. Same thing, if you have a little bit of money and you're looking to buy a bunch of rentals, build the whole portfolio and have a lot of cash flow. That's a business. You got to think as a business owner. What is a business? What is a business? Watch this, right? This is the fundamental thing that most people don't understand. Very basic stuff, right? You already joined a mentorship and you probably already broke this rule, okay? A business, by definition... 
by definition, is this. I hope you guys can read this. Money in. Money coming in. Money coming in. What is most people do when they're trying to get into real estate wholesaling? Is either one, they go create an LLC, okay? Create an LLC, bam. I really wish I had a whiteboard right next to me here that I can write and you guys can read. Is number one, they create an LLC, right? That's cost few bucks, right? That's money out, okay? It's money out. Anything I'm going to write on top here is money out. It's not a business. It's expenses. It's not a business. They create the LLC. They create the logo. Maybe a website. Uh, they join a mentorship. Pay $8,000. I'm talking about specifically real estate wholesaling. You really don't need to join a mentorship to learn real estate wholesaling. You join a mentorship to either one, be part of a community, or scale or learn a different strategy to add in your tool belt because you already know how to wholesale. Everything is available online to teach you how to wholesale from A to Z. So if you start by joining a mentorship, right? So what you're doing is this. We have BAM. We have money in. We'll write that down here. Money in. And then we have money out. Right? Bam. Look at that, guys. Money in, money out. Anything here is a business. Anything here is not a business. Bunch of waste of time and mental masturbation. Okay? So money in. Boom. Leads. How you get leads? By being on the phone. Okay? Um, you know, reaching out. Let's say you decide to go the joint venture model where you reach out to newbies that are too afraid to get on the phone, but they're generating leads. And because you're a badass, you're not afraid to get on the phone, you get on the phone for the leads and help them close. It. Those are all money in. It brings money into your bank account. Leads convert into contracts. And these contracts, what do you do? You sell them and you make a fee. 10,000, 15,000 doesn't matter. So 99.9% .9 of your activity on a daily basis is just being either on the phones, you're calling, you're texting, or maybe you're sending direct mail. It doesn't matter what marketing channel you choose to market, but you're generating leads, converting them into contracts, and you take those contracts and you sell them for a fee. That's what real estate wholesaling is. Very basic. Very basic. Now here, LLC, mentorship. By the way, this, this right here, you can do it for your first three deals. I've done my first three deals for absolutely, absolutely, I probably spend less than 300 bucks to do my first three deals. I've never joined a mentorship to learn wholesaling real estate because everything is free online to learn real estate wholesaling. Everything. There's nothing absolutely you need to pay for. I'm talking about wholesaling. I'm not talking about creative finance, multifamily, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about wholesaling specifically. Be with me before you put in the comments. Oh, that's not true. No, I know it's true because I've done it. Real estate wholesaling specifically, where you go out, you find ugly homes, you put them under contract for a discount, and you take that contract and you sell it for a fee. It's absolutely free. You don't need to join a mentorship to learn wholesaling. If you do, it's because you want to. It's because you want to mentally masturbate, because you're too afraid to make the calls, whatever. You're joining the mentorship for a wrong reason. There is right reasons to join the mentorship, and real estate wholesaling is not one of them. I've never paid to join a mentorship and I am part of a mentorship. I've joined mentorships. I've spent money on masterminds, but I spent it after I had already done multiple, multiple deals, at least had contracts. So I already knew the wholesaling from A to Z. I didn't need anybody to teach me about wholesaling real estate. Where did I learn it? On YouTube, absolutely free. All I had to do is to get on the phone and make the call. So boom, how much is this? Let's say this is like 300 bucks. I don't know, right? When I did my first deal, my first three deals all combined assignment fees. This is the fees that you make when you sell the contract. All of it combined is $115,000, three deals. The first one was $68,000. Second one was about $19,000. And the third one was about $17,500. This is in Maryland. This is in Maryland. My two first deals, my first one, but my two first deals is Baltimore County. And then the, ter the third one uh, is in Baltimore City. Okay, 
I spent probably less than 300 bucks right here. You see, I did this. Money in. Money in. I, I spent either no money until I start generating money or I spent very little. So let's say hypothetically here, I spent 300 bucks. How did I spend the 300 bucks? Sorry. I know. It's a small board. So obviously it's going to get dirty. Okay. Bear with me. So let's say for me, right? Because I stuck to the number two golden rule of business. I am not spending money. A business is money in. So I'm not starting by this. LLC costs money. Let's say 300. Doesn't matter even if it's 100. Mentorship. On average, for just six months, mentorship costs between $5,000 to $12,000. Maybe 10. I don't know. $5,000 to $12,000 that you join for a mentorship. I know some of them cost 200 bucks, some of them 146 It doesn't matter. They're all freaking garbage when it comes to wholesale and real estate. You sit in there somewhere on a website, watching a bunch of videos, doing nothing that you can find on YouTube for absolutely free. Yes, you're going to have to sit down and figure it out on YouTube. I know it's not organized, blah, 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 but you can figure it out. Because wholesaling is so simple. I'm not saying it's easy. It's absolutely not easy. But it's so simple that you can absolutely do your first and second and third deal without joining any mentorship at all. You don't spend money. When you spend the money, it's not a business. It's, it's expenses. This is what it's called. Money out. It's called expenses. Okay? How did I do my first three deals with just maybe potentially 300 bucks? How? 300 bucks? If I spent... It's 300 bucks. How? I got in my car. Man, I wish I knew how to draw a, draw a car. <laughs> I know. But let's say this is a car. Ugly as hell, right? Jumping in my car at the time. I'm driving Uber and Lyft. And then I learned that I could drive also. Drive, do what is called driving for dollars. Driving for dollars is you get in your car. You drive in a neighborhood where, where, where there is cash buyers activity. And then you find ugly homes that nobody look at. Tall grass, broken windows, vacant, squatters in, doesn't matter. The ugliest house you can find in the neighborhood. And you find that homeowner and you find their number and you call them and you say, hey, have you ever thought about selling this home? Would you consider a cash offer on this property? Bam. That's it. So what did I spend mon the money on? Gas. YouTube was free. At the time, I was using my Samsung not even iPhone. I didn't even have an iPhone at the time. I was using my Samsung to make these calls. Guess what I got? A Google Voice number. Free. Didn't pay for it. Google Voice number. That's what I was calling with. So I would drive. So I'm doing Uber and Lyft. I'm generating money because I have responsibilities. I have bills. At the time, my first daughter that is now probably, she's starting six. She wasn't even born yet. I, I know she was about to be born. So I, I got to keep bringing money in. Plus, I just quit my 9 to 5. And I got bills to pay. So I'm driving Lyft and Uber. So I'm generating income. And then when I take a client from point A to point B, guess what Mama Do does? Guess what Mama Do does? Because I'm a badass. I shut down the app. You see, this is the difference between, Uber, between doing Uber and Lyft and working somewhere, whether it be Chick-fil-A or at an office, fancy office, it doesn't matter. If you punch in a clock and you're locked into an office or you're locked into a job or store, it doesn't matter. Guess what you don't have? You don't control your time. You cannot sit there and make calls. Why? Because another adult, the manager, the boss, whoever will come and tell you, what the F are you doing? You're supposed to be serving the clients their burgers, not making calls, not making cold calls. But lift them over, guess what? It's my call. It is my car. If you're not happy with it, I don't care about the five-star review. Get out of my car. I can pick up my phone every time I want, anytime I want. That's number one. Number two, I can shut down the app anytime I want and do something else. I can take a break when I want. I can drive as long as I want. I can drive one hour, shut down the app. I can drive three hours. I can drive five hours. It really doesn't matter, but I control my time. Because what do you need to be successful here and start bringing money in into a business? It's time. You need time to do the marketing. You need time to send the, 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 the direct mails. You need time, time to send the text messages. You need It's just a numbers game. If I talk to 40 to 50, maybe 100 people a day, I am guaranteed a contract per month. At least it doesn't matter how much I suck on the phone as a salesperson. Doesn't matter. Just sit down and make the damn calls. Basic. So I'm in my car driving. So if I spent, it's probably 300 bucks. I'm in my car. I'm drinking my coffee. Bam. 
That's how I found all my for my first three deals exactly like this. The first one, I got it from the referral from the referral from the guy that I picked up in my car at BWR Airport. I just asked him the question. He's a client. I'm driving him back home. I said, "Hey, do you know anybody in this neighborhood that is looking to sell? Because I'm in real estate. I do real estate full time, and I also drive Lyft and Uber part time. And we do pay a referral if I get the contract." And he soon as, when he was about to get out of my car. Do you know anybody in this neighborhood? Maybe a vacant house. Doesn't matter. I can find the owner. And he pointed me two streets away on your left. Go ahead. There's a vacant property. It's been two years. I don't know the owner personally. But we would love to see that property renovated and make the neighborhood look good. Well, that deal ended up being a $68,000 assignment fee. Bam. Second property, same thing. That was not a referral, but I dropped a client in Baltimore City. And then I dropped the client and I looked on my left. There was a bandit sign from in front of a home. And the lady had a sign saying for sale by owner with a number. Bam. I called directly from my car. That ended up being the second contract, $19,000. Uh, another one in, in Kettlesville. Same thing. Just in my car, just driving. Okay. Looking at ugly houses. Okay. So your first three deals, you can do this. Once you make, I don't know, whatever, 50,000, 100,000, 10,000, 20,000, it really doesn't matter. Now you take the money because that's money in. Now you have a business. You see? Now you have a business. It doesn't matter if it's, let's say on your first deal, by the way, what I love about real estate wholesaling is that each deal is a puzzle. You don't know what you're going to get. When you get the ugly house, you call the seller, you don't know what you're going to get until you negotiate with them. You see what kind of, do they have a lot of leads? Don't they have leads? Do they have a lot of equity? Bam, 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 bam. How much lower can you negotiate them? So some deals you might make 10,000. Some you might make 20. <laughs> right? In the beginning of January, closed two deals. All combined was $158,000 net. Okay? So every deal is a puzzle. But at least when you bring the money in, number two rule, of, do not break this rule. Do not break it. Don't spend money until you start making money. Easy, simple, right? When the money starts flowing in, now you can do whatever. When I closed my first deal, the first one, the very first one, I didn't even have an LLC on my name. The closing attorney who handles the transaction had to explain to me that when I close on this deal and get my money, I have to go create what is called an LLC. I didn't even know what an LLC means, nor did I care. I just wanted to get my first deal. I quit my nine to five and I wanted to prove the concept that real estate wholesaling works. And somebody told me, all you have to do is to get on the phone and call people. You're going to get a lot of no's, a lot of FU's, a lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of rejections until you get that one person that says, yes, easy. I can do that all day long. All day long. My ex-wife used to tell me FU's, FU all the time. Who cares? That a stranger that I call from the 443 number tell me FU, don't call me back. Who cares? I'm going to call 99 of them. One of these people will tell me a yes and bam, that's my money right there. So when the money start flowing in, now you can do whatever you want. Don't be stupid with the money, but now you can go create the LLC. You can join the mentorship to scale, right? Now maybe you learn how to hire, right? You start uh, having a community that you're part of for more support, whatever. But at least first you got money in and you're spending the money that you get from your cash buyers, not your money. Here, all you're doing, all you're doing is... Oh, I cannot get myself, right? You see, when you start your when you start your journey with the money out, the money out, if this is not a business, this is pure mental masturbation. I know my writings are super ugly, sorry. <laughs> but it says money out. I'm just spending money. So easy. I go on online, I create an LLC. Bam. Easy. I join a mentorship, pay my 10k or get a payment plan, whatever. It's 10K, boom, I'm making my monthly payments. Super easy, right? I go to every networking event. I buy every ticket possible. I go to Florida, I go to California. It doesn't matter. I go to every real estate networking event with absolutely zero purpose. I don't even know why I'm this event. I pay online masterminds. I join the mentorship. I paid $10,000. Then that mentor have Zooms. And on every Zoom, I get pitched a mini course for another, whatever, 100 bucks, $4,000. It really doesn't matter. But all I'm doing is 
buying, 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 buying. Why? Because I am hoping to get what we call the chip call. I am hoping that this mentor will tell me if I just buy this one, this next tool, this next CRM, whatever, I will close deals without having to make the calls. Why? Because the hardest thing to do is to pick up your phone. This thing right here, bam. And you, as you can see that, boom, right here, guys. Over here, we're bold and brave. We're obsessed. We're optimistic. And we have that abundance mindset. Straight killer abundance mindset. Anyway, pick up this and make the calls and hear a fuse. F you, mama do. Why are you calling me? Do you see a sign on my yard? Blah, 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 blah. Hang up. If you call me again, I'll sue you. Blah, 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 blah. Mama do. Go back. With this accent, you must be a Nigerian scammer. Doesn't matter. Bam, bam. This is way more difficult. So instead, I take my little money that I barely have and then just spend it. That's so easy. Just go on the website www.makeitllc.com, you make the LLC, bam, you pay for it. You pay the mentor. Then he comes in and he pitches you something else. Then you buy that. Oh, I just discovered this new secret list. If you guys only knew, bam, and you buy that. By the time you know it, you are... The other day, I got a call from somebody. I'm not going to say his name, but a good friend of mine um, from uh, out of state. And he already spent almost six figures. On every mentorship you can think of, the books, the this, the that, no deals coming in. That's money out, not money in. What is a business? Go back to the basics. A business is money in, not money out. So in the beginning, you want to stay as lean as possible. You spend the least amount of money possible because if you don't spend money, guess what? You use human resources, you use sweat equity. It doesn't cost you anything. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, great. At least you're not in debt. You didn't max out all your credit cards. At least. You understand what I'm saying? So you spend the least amount possible if you can't even zero. If you can spend zero money and still get the deals, get the money coming in first, then you spend that money because it's not your money, right? You got a property, you close on it, you made $10,000 and you're spending that $10,000. Where is that $10,000 come from? That $10,000 come from your effort to make the calls, to put out the bandit signs, to send the direct mail. It doesn't matter what channel you use, but that money came in through your effort and it came in from the cash buyer. It's not your money. Now you can take out of that $10,000, you can take if you want $2,000, $1,500, bam. Now you spend that money on the LLC, the website, the mentorship if you want to scale. But in the beginning, you may even want to do three, three deals before you do all of that. And I'll give you the ultimate cheat code and I'm going to end with this one. For all of you guys that took notes and you're smart and you put the freaking ego on the side. And yes, I am going to say it because I know you guys hate it. That's the only reason why I'm going to say it. Put the porn down. If you put the pawn down and you focus, okay? Very basic. Here's, here, here's the ultimate cheat code. And by the way, I tried this. I literally tried this. Didn't work for me when I first started my journey. What I did is this. This right here, guys. I know we all, we all want to be our own bosses. Let me see if this one works. Bam, bam. Bam, work for... This is the ultimate cheat code. Bam. The ultimate chip code, work for someone. Can you guys read this? Work for someone. I tried this, guys. I called multiple wholesaling companies. When you go on Google and you type, we buy houses for cash. Those people, obviously, they have money. If they're on Google, they have money. Right? So, Boom, different scenery, I know. I had to run to an appointment, so I'm just going to finish with the last, last cheat code that I was telling you about. Listen, I've tried this. Googling all these wholesaling companies that have Google Ads money, that tells me they have money, maybe they have scale team. Back then, the first thing that I started doing was putting up band signs with some of the friends that I wanted to start this business with. We met at a real estate event, and then we decided to go out and put this thing called band signs. I found out it's not for me. Why? Because I was doing Uber and Lyft. And we start putting band signs around like 11 p.m. at night, and then we end around 3 a.m. And then I got to go drive Uber and Lyft around like 5, 6 a.m. It was not for me. I couldn't be consistent with that. So I decided, how about this? How about I reach out to companies that already, you know, they're, they're already spending marketing anyway, 
to put out marketing and find leads. And then I don't have to spend any money to buy the leads. I don't have to spend any money to skip trace and get the numbers. I don't have to spend any money on dialers, anything. And I can just use their data, work for them and get paid on commission while I'm learning how to talk to these leads. How do you follow up? How do you close? Basically learn the sales from A to Z, understand the whole process, right? I wanted to cut my learning curve from like maybe a year to six months. I don't know, right? So we called around two of us, Asian friend of mine back then. And I think he got accepted in one. I don't know if they gave him a position where he's just dispo our deals. And for me, they told me, Mama, do we really not looking for people? I mean, they didn't say it this way, but it was it was kind of very clear what they mean. Like they want people that don't have an accent basically when you know you call the leads. Why? I don't know. Now, the same guys, by the way, I'm not hating on it. It's their business. They do whatever they want. I really don't care. I was not going to let that stop me. I absolutely don't care. But those same people is, you know, ironically today, they are in my PMs and DMs asking me to learn creative finance. Go figure it out. But what is my point? My point is that is still a business. You still applying the number two rule to where you're not spending your own money. Another person, another company is spending their marketing dollars, getting the deal, getting the leads, getting the lists, paying the skip tracing, paying whatever you need to go out and generate these leads. If you're putting out bandit signs for them, well, guess what? They're paying for the gas, whatever. They're spending the money. You're not spending anything. And you're using their system and you are learning while you're generating leads, you're learning without using any of your own money. And then if you close anything, you get paid on commission. See, the mistake that people do when they reach out to companies, did you know back then when I reached out to these companies, I was offering them to do this for free for at least 90 days. I just wanted to learn. I just wanted to learn how do you keep a seller on the phone for more than freaking five minutes. I didn't know nothing about real estate. I didn't have the license. I don't have any sales background. I was a commercial agent in Belgium, but that was not sales. I wait for people come to come to me. I wasn't a proactive sales person. Now I know how to communicate 100%, right? So the wrong approach is reaching out to somebody to work for them so you can learn. So maybe 12 months from now, you go do your own thing, right? Is is every relationship, right? Every relationship is selfish, right? You benefit from it and the company benefit from it. So it's a mutual benefit. All parties have vested interests. This is why it works. But don't use the wrong approach. When you approach people, the first thing you ask them is not, hey, what is my commission? What is this? What is that? No, find the opportunity. Find the opportunity. Hey, I really, I want to learn. Like right now we have, a, I think it's 17, Daniel or, or 16. I'm not really sure. Super young guy. And we have a few of them on our team learning how to set up appointments on the phone. So they're going to start by being appointment setters. Then they're going to move on to lead management. And then they're going to move on to closers. They don't have to spend none of their own money. They come to the office. We have everything they need. They just get to work. They get a hands-on mentoring like proximity. Proximity is everything. You are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you come to an office, spending time with a badass team, doesn't matter. In your local area, just find somebody. If you approach them with value, but if you approach them and you start, the, the first thing you ask them is, hey, if I were to come and work for you just to learn, how much will you pay me? Like, what are you talking about? You need it more than they need it. They're, they're already doing deals without you. So you need it. That's I understood that. Basic approach. I think I learned that from my dad. But anyway, that's beside the point. The point is, that's still a business because you're not spending your own money. You're spending that company's money and then you're learning for free. You, it's almost like you have a free mentorship, free mastermind, call it whatever you want. And then they teach you how to fish. And once you're ready to fish by yourself, then you move on and you go fish. That is the ultimate cheat code for me. So listen to me. I am one, please let me know in the comments if you got any valuable takeaway from this, if you've made the mistake so far, you see there's nothing wrong making mistakes. If you've made the mistake so far, setting up the LLC, paying the mentorship, blah, 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 not a problem. You already made the mistake. Forget about it. Don't leave in yesterday, okay? Leave today and tomorrow. Only care about what happens today and tomorrow. So 
is there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong about making mistakes. What's wrong with is it's not admitting that, hey, I made a mistake and snap out of it. Just snap out of it. We all make mistakes. We all get hung up on. I mean, we all get caught on shiny object syndrome. We listen to people on YouTube and we fall for the, you know, get rich quick scheme bullshit. Listen, this business is simple, but it's absolutely not easy. Not only is it not easy, it's not a one day thing. It's not a six month thing. It's not a one year thing. If you want to turn it into a business, not a side hustle, because if you're talking about real estate wholesaling, it is not a side hustle. If you're trying to do this as a side hustle, good luck. But just snap out of it. Move on. You've already spent the money. You wasted all this time buying the mini courses. None of it served you. Whatever. You wasted all this time watching YouTube. Then you went and you know created the website, the logo. You have the fancy little business card that nobody really care about in 2024. Listen, it's okay. You made the mistake. But can you snap out of it and apply this number two golden rule for business? Focus on money in First, that's what a business is, not money out. However, you can do that. If you can leverage another team, if you're in local in Atlanta and you want to join our team, simple. DM me on Instagram at real estate Diablo. If you're a self-motivated individual and you don't mind talking to strangers on the phone, reach out to us. Reach out to us. You can come to the office. The office is in, is in College Park, right? If you're in Florida, California, Maryland, doesn't matter where you are, Arizona, do the same thing. Reach out to a local real estate investor that you know they're actively doing deals and you trust them, you can relate to them, whatever, you love their vibe, you would like to work with them, you love their energy, reach out to them and approach them with value and ask them, hey, can I join your team and add value to your team? Also, you teach me how to fish. Boom, now you're not using your own money. Or do the approach that I told you, find all the multiple different channels. By the way, I'll create a video Look out for it. That talks about the multiple different channels to market to real estate. Choose the one that is the cheapest possible, if not free. There's so many ways to market for free for real estate, wholesaling leads. Choose the one that you spend the least money. If you don't have it, if you have a lot of money, great. That's a different, that's a, a different video for another day. Here I'm addressing the people that goes, I don't have the money. I want to spend the least possible. Or I have the money, but I don't want to spend it yet because I don't understand the business. So I want to understand the business first to make sure that I'm not wasting my money, just throwing money out of the window. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. Well, bam, choose the marketing channel that is the, le that is the least expensive or even free and then put in the sweat equity and bam, until you start bringing money in, which is what a business is, remember Remember what we talked about. I'm going to show you one more time this concept right here. Bam. I hope you guys can see my whiteboard. Look at that. Look at this fancy whiteboard. Remember, bam, we're gonna draw this, gonna draw this line right here. Why isn't it drawing? Connection to server was lost. What the hell? Let's see. Let's try to make my whiteboard work. Connection to server was lost. Okay. Boom. Remember, what did we say? Money in equal business. So first deals, you do deals first before you start spending money. That's that's what a business is. Money in, okay? Here, money out. Okay, let's move this. Uh, money out equal let, let me be nice let me not put a cuss word okay equal bs <laughs> waste of time okay you just spending 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 buying every course building the website the logo you don't even know how to talk to a seller yet maybe you hire the virtual assistant and even when they generate the lead you're not yet confident enough yet to follow up with the lead so you wasted all this money paying uh paying a salary to a virtual assistant by the Week, on a weekly basis, like 300, 400, 600, whatever, right? It is okay to make the mistake, but snap out of it if you've been doing this and go back to the basics. Money in first, money in first, sweat equity, boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, don't confuse this too. A business brings money in. Anything that takes money out is what? Expenses. It's not a business, all right? 
Guys, let me know if you got any value out of this video. And if you did, let me know what your takeaway is in the comments. And if there is anything that you're confident about, leave your question in the comments below and my team will put it on my plate. I might just create a video and answer your question. Connect with me in all the social media platforms, Instagram, at Real Estate, DM or DM me, and I will personally respond to you. If you're local in Atlanta and you're looking to join a badass scalar team that is actually actively doing deals that will teach you hands on, Listen, reach out to me. You can reach out to my uh, co-hosts, Andrew, uh, Powell, and Steve Blow. They will help you out as well. And guys, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video if you know anybody that can benefit from it. And until next time, get that boom effect in your life. Remember, you have to be bold and brave. You have to be obsessed with this stuff. You got to take it seriously. You got to be a professional. You cannot wing this. You cannot wing this. You cannot just go, hey, I'm just going to do this as a side hustle. One fit in. No, go all in or go all out. I promise you. It is absolutely not a side hustle. Real estate wholesaling it is not a side hustle at all. Okay? So you have to be obsessed with this stuff. And obsessed with everything. Obsessed with discipline. Obsessed with hanging out with the right people. Obsessed with waking up in the morning and doing what you're supposed to do. Obsessed with you know, uh, joining a dynamic team to work with, whatever. Be obsessed with it. And then you have to be optimistic. Obviously, if you don't think this thing works, it's not going to work. So you have to be optimistic because it works. There is enough deals for everyone. There is no such thing as a saturated market that is just in your head. It's just your thoughts that are saturated. The market is not saturated. There is enough deals for everyone. And last thing, you have to be, you have to have that killer instinct you have to have that killer mindset, killer abundance mindset, because the right mindset equal money. All right, guys, until next time, stay bold and be bold. Boom, boom, boom.